I'm Aaron Graber with Ventrac, and in this video, we're gonna talk all about leaf removal. Today in the studio, I have three different Ventrac attachments to talk about. The power blower, the leaf plow behind me, and the turbine blower. All three of these attachments play a key role in our leaf removal lineup and allow Ventrac to be the best equipment that you can have to remove leaves from a property or move them from place to place. We have a total of two blowers in the Ventrac line. I've got the other one over here to the left. We'll get to that in a second. This is the smaller of those two blowers, and that's really the main difference. It is not quite as powerful, not quite as uh, high volume of air movement as the bigger turbine blower, and it's enough for most people. So you can think of this like a step between a backpack blower and something more industrial like the turbine blower. This power blower bridges that gap, gives you a lot more capability, a lot more power to work than, than handheld backpack equipment, uh, and obviously puts it on the front of a tractor so it's easy to drive around and move a lot of leaves. The movement of this blower changes things a little bit too compared to the turbine blower. So you'll see this whole housing rotates and it doesn't, doesn't go 360 degrees. Um, so it only goes from the right side to the left side and, and vice versa. But this outlet can be adjusted slightly to, to, the, to adjust the pitch of the wind that's coming out of it. But this outlet runs uh, in parallel to the ground and it, it rotates like this. So you can always point it in the direction that you want and the outlet is very close to the ground so with the adjustment that's located on the outlet, you have a really good ability to, to clear leaves and even small debris, small twigs and stuff that fall with those leaves um, in a much more efficient way than with a backpack blower or a handheld blower that just doesn't move as much air. You'll also see on this blower um, the optional light kit that we have. So this light kit plugs into the 12 volt kit on the tractor and this gives you the ability to use this blower and have a little bit of extra floodlight out to the edges in those shorter fall days where this type of, of job is actually done. So this is a very simple attachment. It is P PTO driven. Uh, you've got the gearbox right here, fully mechanical. Uh, the hydraulics are only used to angle the blower housing and change the direction of the air itself. So pretty simple there. So this is a great blower for most customers um, on properties, I would say maybe like up to five acres or something. Um, that's kind of the way to frame it, think about it. Anything bigger than that, you're probably gonna want the next size up. Um, but if you have the time, it'll certainly get the job done. It just takes a little bit more time uh, since it's a little bit smaller of an option. So then moving on to the more commercial uh, application, this is for basically property of any size, any type. Uh, you'll see these on golf courses, in school districts, municipalities. Uh, you'll, you'll see contractors running these uh, in order to just get the job done as fast as possible. And that's the name of the game here with this. This is our turbine blower, and it moves the most amount of air. Um, compared to uh, the smaller blower, it's probably at least two or three times faster in terms of how much uh, volume of air you're moving and, and the leaf volume that you're moving. Um, and it's a little bit bigger of a machine too. So you can see the physical footprint of it is probably three times the size. Um, the way that this works is pretty similar. It's PTO driven as well. Um, and the inlet here is this gray part of, of the turbine. Um, it's got an actual you know, turbine housing. And then the outlet here is where the air comes out. This rotates 360 degrees. It is on a different plane than the power blower. So it rotates you know, like this uh, left and right. And you can point it straight up in the air or straight down at the ground, which is something that you can't do with a power blower. Um, pointing it straight down is a nice advantage because of the louvers that we have on the front of the attachment here. So these uh, pieces of metal will catch that wind and direct it directly forward. So it can blow with a pretty, pretty good amount of force directly forward as well. Um, but being up here, typically you're gonna run it in the left or right direction and kind of aim it down at the ground at maybe a 45 degree angle. And that's gonna really collect those leaves and send them out as hard as possible. Also mounted on this blower is our optional light kit. It's very similar to the light kit on the power blower. It's two of the LEDs that are just like the ones on the front of the 4520. They use the 12 volt hookup that goes to the tractors. You need that optional kit on the machine. So these give you the ability to work later into the evening, those short days in the fall when this job is done. And it's a very simple kit that just helps make it even more usable for all of our operators in the field. The, the turbine blower is the ultimate in leaf removal uh, because it just moves so much air and it can move a, an entire tunnel of leaves without much effort at all. Uh, but when this is not quite enough, which does happen on a massive property, then we go to the leaf plow. And I'm gonna stay just kind of in between these two for a second, talk about where that transition might happen. 
Uh, but turbine blower is one of those things that moves so many leaves, you can actually give yourself a problem by doing that. If you wait long enough and your property has enough leaves that you can move uh, a pile that's just so massive that even the turbine blower won't move it, then you have to have something like the leaf plow because it's physically moving those leaves. Uh, and that's what you'll notice. So if I'm on a property that's like 10 to 15 acres and I've waited till there's a foot of leaves, uh, the turbine blower will do a phenomenal job of moving those until it gets to the point where there's basically a giant wall of leaves. And I'm blowing them, but they don't have anywhere to go. And once there's nowhere else for them to go, that's where the leaf plow comes into play. So I'll put the leaf plow down and the leaf plow grabs that whole big cluster, relocates it so that I can get it out of the way and then I can go back to using the turbine blower. Another advantage of the leaf plow is that this can go on other tractors or really any machine that has a category one three point. So there are a few machines outside of the tractor sphere that do that. We have a three in one adapter that can go into the hitch arms on the back side of this leaf plow and that turns it into the interface that is category one three point. So this could go on the back of pretty much any standard compact tractor and be used much the same way. Um, features on this, there really are no accessories to go over. Like both of these blowers have uh, the light kit as an accessory. Uh, this just comes as it is standard. It has these kind of flexible rubber wings. These are strong enough to keep the, the leaves contained inside of the plow, but not strong enough to uh, destroy trees or posts or anything else that you might hit with them. So they'll bend away and they'll flex a little bit. Underneath, we have some bristles. This is a pretty critical design element of the leaf plow. You don't want a hard edge like you would a standard plow. And even you'll see in the market some uh, metal tine bottom rakes, and those will oftentimes have enough um, resistance to be able to peel sod up as you're working and obviously you destroy things that way. So these are specifically formulated just as a design item. They're soft enough that they give way to protect what you're working with underneath. Um, and also when you're plowing through a, a tree area or something like that, there's roots and stuff to catch on. So this will glide over that without any obstructions. So those are the three tools that we use on the Ventrac machine. Um, usually that time of year, I will also have dual wheels on the tractor so that my footprint is as little um, ground pressure as possible. That way it allows me to uh, operate and not do any damage to the train while, while I get rid of all the leaves. And um, between these three attachments, I don't think there's anything faster or more effective at moving large volumes of leaves on a property away. Uh, certainly there's better options if you live on a very tiny lot. You're probably looking more at something like a zero turn with a bagger just picking those leaves up and dumping them at the road. Uh, but as soon as you get into that quarter acre and beyond, uh, you'll find that having one of these attachments and, uh, or all three of these attachments potentially, depending on the situation, uh, will speed you up immensely and uh, allow you to do more jobs in less time. So that's a basic overview of all of the leaf removal tools that we have in the Ventrac system. Hopefully that provides some clarification on which product to use at which time. If you have any further questions about how you might use these attachments, let us know in the comments below. We'll be sure to answer your questions. Also, you can visit our website at Ventrac.com and view the product pages of these attachments. And we would encourage you to visit your local dealer and demo any of them that you might be interested in. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more information, and we'll see you next time.